Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to install a lifetime in-ground basketball hoop that's got a 54 inch backboard on it. So we got some quotes to put this in and they were like five to $700 to put it in. Um, so, you know, that's not really how we roll. So it's digging a hole, uh, getting things leveled, putting some concrete in and then assembling something with nuts and bolts. So hopefully what I just said makes it, it's as easy as what I just said. Uh, who knows? But anyways, so first thing we gotta do is we gotta dig a hole. The hole's gotta be 30 inches deep and it's gotta be 21 inches square um, according to the directions, which of course we're reading very closely. So we're gonna start doing that and then uh, we'll let you know if we hit. We already had power lines and everything marked. We clearly, you know, we wanna make sure we, we call before we dig. So we already did that. We do not know if we will hit a sprinkler though. We think by going about nine inches off the driveway, that's where we think the sprinkler line runs is based on where the sprinklers pop up from. Um, but we will see. If we hit it, then we will have to uh, reroute that as well. So we'll go from there. Okay, so this is approximately the area that we need to dig out. It's only got to go about 30 inches deep, which is not that deep, actually. I thought it would have to go deeper. Um, but you can see we're going into a hill, and so we got to kind of shave it down. So if we're even with the driveway. We want to be flat with the driveway. And then the other thing, too, is uh, we're really, we, we have to, uh, based on our homeowners association, which you should check if you're in a homeowners association, our basketball hoop cannot be facing the street. It's got to be facing our house. So it will be facing our garages, and uh, that's based on a, a home, our homeowners association for us. Yours might be different. You have to have an in-ground basketball hoop. You cannot have one that rolls, you roll in and roll out or whatever, so we don't want to do that. And then the other thing I'm nervous about is, you know, backing in and out of our driveway. Our driveway's pretty long. Um, my daughter's going to be a new driver here in a, probably about three, four weeks. And uh, we wanted to go a little bit off the driveway just in case she's backing out. Um, we're hoping she won't clip it. Um, or coming out of the garage that she'll have plenty of room to make uh, back and, and turn to go, go out of the driveway. So. Hopefully that all happens. Um, I think we got a better shot that she'll hit the house more than she'll hit this, garage, this basketball hoop. But we're taking some precautions, so we'll see how that works out. What we did is, because we know our driveway's level here, sorry, do you want to measure for me? Yeah. The hole's got to be 30 inches deep, and we are at about 29 and a half or so. So I just got to clean out the bottom of the hole here. And then, from a square standpoint, we're supposed to be roughly 21 deep here to here. So we'll have to do a little bit more clean out on this side here, you know, just to get a little bit more uh, 21 inches square. This we're plenty wide. We went a little bit wider because, frankly, when you don't dig a hole 30 inches deep, um, frankly, you need a little bit of room to work a shovel. So uh, that's what we did. So now we have to start thinking about building a square. We're going to build a frame around uh, the top here that's going to be level with this driveway. So when we pour concrete, that the concrete's going to be level from the driveway to the top of the basketball hoop. So we know that, you know, then, then from there we can put the basketball hoop in. But we want to make sure it's as level as we can from the driveway as well. So we've got about a half inch of clean out dirt to do. And then uh, a little bit squaring on the front and we're done. Okay, so. We're at the point where we are gonna frame up what our box is gonna look like for um, basically pouring our concrete in. I'm doing it so you get a nice square box um, in the ground. Uh, so when we pour the concrete, we'll pour so it's level to the top of this. And so that's why I'm putting a level on it. So they always, they say on the directions too, level this to your playing surface because obviously your hoop's gonna go onto this. So um, that's what I'm doing. So my playing surface is my driveway. So I got a four foot level here. And I'm just basically gonna level it across, and then I got these posts that are into the ground at the, on the bottom here, where I'll just hammer them in a little bit more. And I'm gonna put a screw through on the inside here. And then that will basically make sure that it stays level um, while we pour concrete, and then I'll, I'll basically level off the top as I'm doing it. Once that's done, then I'll pull the frame out and I'll just have the concrete in a nice square pattern. That's it.
Okay, so we're pouring our basketball, in-ground basketball anchors in. And as you can see, basically there's two things that you had to do with this. One is this hole is 21 inches wide, 21 inches deep, or 21 inches wide, and uh, basically a square of 21 inches. It's 30 inches deep. So after you get about 18 inches from the top of the hole with concrete, you put these four pieces of rebar in. And basically the idea is, is you put those in and then when these go in, the J-hooks go along the side of it, right? And so that way the J-hooks and between the rebar and the J-hooks, it'll be really, really, really secure. So that's the idea is that you do that. And uh, then you fill the hole back up to the complete top. And uh, then we wait for a couple days for it to dry. That's it. Okay guys, so we got the concrete base put in. Um, it took us 10 bags. So the instructions say eight. Um, we used 10 80 pound bags and we used a mixer that we got for, it's $35 for four hours from Home Depot. Um, so we got that mixer. We mixed 10 bags in about an hour and a half and poured it into the hole. Um, it really worked pretty quickly. So I did use my two sons to help me pour. Um, so I had an 11 year old and a 13 year old helping me do um, the pouring and that sort of thing. So, but we did it right here, right by the hole. Made it really quick and easy just to dump bags and go. So as you can see, we got it all done. It's in, it's kind of pitched a little bit away from the hole, um, just to make sure that it, uh, we don't get, this doesn't fill up, we don't want it to fill up. So it's a little bit rounded off on the tops, just so the water goes off of it. But um, it is completely level with our playing surface here. So if I, did a, if I did something like this, crossed it, it's completely level with the surface. You can see I'm right in the middle of the dot there. Same thing on this one. You know, I'm right on the surface of it. So it's perfect. I made sure to level both to the, the playing surface, which is our driveway, as well as sideways, so we weren't tipping or doing anything really weird. And then um, I'll let it dry a little bit, and then I'll, I'll kind of, I'll just surface it a little bit, just to make sure that it looks really nice on the top. And that's really it. I would say that this project is super easy. So the biggest problem is getting the concrete to the house, because um, they're 80 pound bags, so you gotta do a little lifting. And then uh, renting a mixer. Besides that, um, this is very, very doable. Um, digging the hole was worse. The concrete mixing with a bucket mixer that we got from Depot was really pretty easy. So let me show you the bucket mixer real quick. Okay, so this is, a, they have two bucket mixers that you can rent at Home Depot. This is the smaller of the two. It easily mixes an 80 pound bag of concrete. Um, you can chuck in, I, I chucked in two bags. Um, just got a five gallon bucket of water, let it mix. And just use a shovel inside of it just to kind of keep mixing it, getting the dry in there. Easiest thing to do is add a little bit of water so you don't get a bunch of the, the concrete at the base just kind of powdered. Put a little water in, put a bag in, put a little water in, put a little bit more in, add a little bit of water until it gets to a nice kind of a, a thicker mixture. So that's really it for that. Um, so this is gonna be a two part video. Um, this is really getting the prep work done for putting in the basketball hoop. So getting the whole concrete base put in. Um, so we showed you that, we showed you how to do that. Um, the next piece will really be about putting the basketball hoop together in assembly and then um, maybe we'll do a third video of shooting hoops, I don't know. Anyways, at the end of it, um, this is very, very doable to do this part. So everybody pays to have it done. I will tell you that it was basically 10, 10 bags of concrete. Um, so 10 bags of concrete, four bucks a bag. You're really talking about 40 bucks worth of concrete. Um, round it to 50 bucks worth of concrete with a $35 mixer for four hours which I used for an hour and a half. So I'm gonna run it back there. Um, but you're really talking about maybe 85 bucks, 90 bucks total uh, to do the work. Um, yeah, because I bought a two by four to do the framing too. But it's super doable. This is not something that you have to pay somebody to do. So knock it out on your own. Use your kids to do some labor. Um, it can be handled. That's it. Subscribe to our videos, give us a thumbs up. If you did this yourself uh, as well, get, you know, let us know how you did yours. Maybe you did something easier. Um, the one thing we didn't do, we tried to actually get a con contractor to come and pour some concrete for us because we thought, let's do it the easy way. Let's have somebody pull up and give us the remnants of a concrete job that they did that had a lot of concrete work being done. Um, nobody will do it. Nobody, or we didn't find anyone that would be willing to do that for us. So, um, but this was super easy for us to get knocked out. So that's it. We'll see you next time. Thanks.